Hi guys, in this video we are going to be testing a new foundation by L'Oreal and this one is the infallible 24 hour matte cover. The price for this one is 12 euros and 75 cents and we have 30 milliliters of product. It is made in France and it can last up to 12 months. You can find this foundation in 21 shades and I got the shade 175 cent. This foundation claims that it gives a natural finish and also so a matte effect to the skin. Also it says on the packaging that it gives a 24 hour matte finish and also shine control. We're going to check that with a wear test and at the end of the day we're going to see how long lasting it is. It claims that it can cover freckles and birthmarks so we're going to see that I have a lot of discolorations on my skin. I have veins, redness. This product is waterproof and also non-comedogenic. You can use this on all skin types and I have dry and sensitive skin so we're going to see how that works. Headband on. The primer that I'm going to use on my face is the Prime and Fine Porifining Anti-Shine Base by Catrice Cosmetics. This is my all-time favorite drugstore primer. I'm trying to apply the product upwards. For the new L'Oreal foundation we have a squeezable tube that makes it very travel friendly and we also have a tape on the cup. Let's take it off. I don't know exactly what's happening with the foundations because they also have the infallible 24 hour matte and the packaging is so so similar with the new one. They also have another one that is called Total Cover, not matte cover. So I was like what is happening. I don't know if the new one is going to replace some of the older foundations but this one here is also one of my favorites. I would say the only difference between these two is that the 24 hour matte contains 35 milliliters of product and the new one only 30. What's happening there? I'm gonna start with this side of my face and I'm gonna use this sponge by Real Techniques. On the other side, I'm going to use a brush. It can cover the veins that I have on my jawline very easily. Also the redness that I have on my cheeks, the veins on my forehead. I think it has a very nice coverage and I didn't use a lot of product. As we can see it oxidizes. This is the color that I have now on my face. It becomes at least one shade darker, even two I think. Keep that in mind when you're trying to find your shade for this foundation. It has a very light chemical scent. It reminds me of soap but it's not very overwhelming and you don't smell the foundation after you apply it on your face. It's almost not sticky and I'm very happy about that because we're not going to need a lot of powder to set it. I think it is more mattifying rather than natural. I don't see a lot of sheen but we also need to see after a couple of hours. On the other side of my face I'm gonna use the foundation with the Flat Kabuki brush by Sigma. With the brush I have a lighter coverage because I can still see a little bit my veins and for example here. I like that I don't have any lines from the bristles of the brush and it looks airbrushed and very well blended. So you can use this foundation with a sponge and a brush. This foundation dries down fast. So if you have dry skin like me, I think it is better to use a hydrating primer instead of a mattifying. About the consistency, it is very liquidy. It's not thick, but you can see that it has a great amount of coverage. I'm going to use a little bit more with my sponge to cover some discolorations that I want. I'm going to wait for a few seconds so that the fresh layer of foundation gets the oxidized color because now it looks a little bit patchy. And always do that with foundations that you have noticed that they are getting darker. Just wait for a few more seconds and everything is going to look better. We can see that it effectively covered the freckles on my nose, redness, veins, very nice coverage. It looks very patchy here because I applied some more product and it didn't get darker. 
it is a little bit tighter on my cheekbones here it is almost not sticky this is a foundation i believe that you can use with your face products like blush contouring bronzer and highlighter without the use of a translucent powder for concealer i'm gonna use the fit me concealer by maybelline in the shade 10 I'm also going to use some on the cheek area to see how the two products are blending together a little bit on the sides of my lips, on the jawline and also on the forehead The concealer blended very nicely with the foundation as we can see the product has creased a little bit on the forehead in the final lines and the patchiness here didn't get any better I don't know what happened it's like it doesn't want to oxidize in this area it looks like a butterfly I'm going to use concealer maybe I can fix it this way so that didn't work I'm going to remove it and apply again the product here primer I was able to fix the patchiness with the brush I don't know if the product got drier and very oxidized on my sponge and that's why I had the patchiness in my reviews I'm always trying to build the coverage to see if the product is buildable and I don't know I think it's not a lot to set everything into place I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder don't forget to blend any creases that you have on your face I blended mine with my fingertip I also want to see if I can blend any other face products on top of the foundation and I'm gonna start with this Sun Sand and Golden Rainbows Matte Bronzing Powder by Essence I have the shade Summer Loving and I'm using the brush 109 by MAC I'm going to use some also on my nose Oops, that's, that's a lot <laughs> For blush I'm going to use this one by Sigma This is the Aura Powder Face Powder in Nymphea With the brush 3 by BH Cosmetics I'm going to use just a little bit to highlight the cheekbones, I'm gonna use this one by Becca. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I'm diffusing this one on my skin with the brush E40 by Sigma. Hi guys, it's been 9 hours and let's see what happened with the foundation. As we can see, I'm a little bit shinier on the forehead here and on the cheeks on the jawline it is a little bit patchy because I was washing my teeth and I don't have a lot of foundation on my nose because I'm a little bit sick and I was wiping on the forehead I can see that it creased a little bit and also on my smile lines around the mouth the final finish reminds me a lot to the 24 hour matte foundation which I was trying to find here but I don't know where I put it found it I would say that the only difference that I can see between these two foundations is that the 24 hour matte foundation is never getting patchy on me I always have a very smooth application with this product the coverage is very nice I think that the color that I picked up is not the correct one for me it is a little bit darker also it has a pink undertone however the name of it is sand the eight colors that I could find at the drugstore were very yellow or very light for me so I had to take this one on a line they have more colors so you can find the correct shade for you however it's not very easy on a line to find the shade that works for you I like that we don't need a lot of powder to lock this foundation in place I like that it has a very nice coverage but I didn't like that it got patchy the matte cover foundation has a liquidy and a light formula it is very easy to blend it on the skin and it is very smooth on my face now 
after nine hours and more it's not patchy anywhere also i didn't cling on the areas that i am shinier now the shine that i have now on my skin is very minimal you can just pat it with a tissue and apply a little bit of powder you can fix this very easily let me know in the comments if you prefer mattifying or illuminating products for your face i prefer mattifying but i need to try this one with something more hydrating you can find here some more drugs or foundation reviews if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and i will see you in the next one bye